Hello and welcome everyone, I'm the Sparrow Jenny, and as I've said before, Jazz Punk is a crazy ass game, and there's obviously a lot of things that, well, some of things that I haven't explored to the fullest. So for that reason alone, I am now going to show you how to deal with the achievements on Steam for Jazz Punk, and I'm going to show you how to do, actually do them. First achievement, Conversionationalist. Conversationalist. That's it. Talk to three inanimate cardboard boxes. This is pretty self-explanatory. Find three boxes and talk to them. You know, this is a jazz bomb. You can talk to cardboard boxes. I completed this achievement on the Soviet infiltration level. So if you start by talking to the box on the subway, right when you start the game, you can probably finish the achievement while exploring the Soviet map. Saliva Surrogate. Assist a saliva deficient individual by fulfilling their stationary needs. Poor guy. I wonder how can he lick things or spit in the face of people that he doesn't like. On the Soviet level, first off, you need to complete the Froggy minigame, where you need to recover that awkward device that allows you to see all the internet stuff. You need to help the frog guy that, he, that is near the fence when you go over the bridge. There's a guy there that doesn't produce saliva, the poor guy, and he needs your help to send an email. If you notice, there's a little email icon next to him. You are so kind that using your now fantastic frog tongue, you can lick the mail and complete this achievement. Essence of Pigeon. Spray three people with pheromones. The new perfume coming out from Channel 5. There's a the guy that apparently hates pigeons. He's in a corridor near a microwave. We're still talking about the Soviet level. And he gives you a degausser to hit pigeons with. After hitting the pigeons, you can pick up a marvelous pigeon perfume that comes out of them, of that little process. Use it on three guys to complete the achievement, and for some laughs. Just make sure you don't target me, please. Serious degaussing skills. Degauss four undercover agents in the park. We are still in the Soviet level. Don't throw out the degausser the pigeon gave you yet. The pigeon, not the pigeon. The guy, the guy, the pigeon guy gave you. You're gonna use it on this achievement. You know those annoying agents be hiding between the trees in the garden? Yeah, I also hate them. I wonder what's the secret to become so thin so fast. That would be lovely. Woman would probably love that. You have to use a degosser and hit four of those agents to complete that achievement. It's not easy, you can do it. Data Mole, no, this is a big one. Smuggle a carrier pigeon into the next level. For this one, you're gonna have to use your gadget skills. There's an agent in the street that asks you to look for a mailbox with a shulk mark on the side. Do you know physics? Do you know Einstein? Um, never mind. Just look for a mark that says E equals to MC. That's a formula invented by Einstein to calculate stuff. I remember that from school. Ugh. After knocking on the mailbox, two strange eyes give you a dangerous package that could contain the most deadly things. You have to deliver it, though, to the agent sitting on the garden's bench reading a newspaper. You can't miss it. Then, it tells you to find a bloody newspaper machine with a gum on the side that actually looks more like a part of a brain. That box is pretty close by, and when you use it, it tells you to go to... I swear this mission will never end. Go to the Raytheer Motel. That's what the freaking recording tape says. It's that little old motel with the, a big door after the stairs. There, use the very secret knock to enter. You actually have to hit uh, the knock that you heard on the uh, on the recording. Finally, talk to a, the agent there that I assume he loves pigeons and grab the freaking pigeon on the table. Truth be told, eat it. Yes, you heard me. Eat it. That's how you're gonna smuggle the pigeon on your stomach. Once you complete the level, you will get an animation while on the bench throwing bread to the fishes. You see a lot of pigeon feathers in the air. Yup, you have completed the achievement. Verbal Morality Statute. Deal various four-letter words into the Nippon Telnet phone terminal. This is an achievement that you can complete on any Nippon phone terminal. There's also one on the second level, but there's one on the first level, so j let's just do it. To be fairly honest, I'm not 100% sure of the solution here. I can tell you though what I've did to complete it. 
I started by dealing with words like full, type, word, which are words with four letters, right? It should work, but it doesn't. It seems the one that does the trick is f Um, uh, the word is f Oh, come on! I know I don't usually swear on my videos, but I really need to do it on this one. So here it goes. The word you should input on a terminal is fuck by dealing 3825. Happy achievement. And sorry by swearing on my video. God dang it. Face infectors. Defeat a microscopic squadron of bacteriophage. We're still in the Soviet level, but you need to be on the building already to complete this one. Right after entering the building, with a very cool James Bond rolling move, you can see a microscopy device on your left. Use it, and you will get a Space Invaders minigame. There are a lot of minigames in Jazz Punk, which by completing it, you also complete the achievement. And you also save the humanity by defeating the evil bacteria. Long Distance Charges deal all phone menu options. On the same office you complete the bacteria achievement, you will hopefully find, unless you're stuck in Jaspong, which then you should totally go watch my awesome let's play, you will find an ancient phone. You have several deal options on that phone. You can deal adult per pay view, no, don't put I'd hopes, you're not getting any type of porn. You can call Kremlin and you can call Satan. To complete the achievement, deal all those options before choosing the main mission one. And you should be good to go. Insurance premiums increase. Shatter all vases in the shop. Pretty self-explanatory, but what shop? We're on the alley level. Here you can find a pretty Japanese woman, Bere Akeshi, or probably just a seller that asks for your help to kill flies in her store. You probably can't miss it. You will then have an awesome weapon called Swatter, which you can use not only to kill sad flies, but also to destroy for your amusement all her vases. By doing that, you ensure you got the insurance achievement. Spongy form encephalopathy. Thai. 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 Consume one brain steeped sandwich. Yes, this is Jazz Punk, ladies and gentlemen, you can do dirty gross stuff like that. If you continue down the Japanese alley, you will encounter a poor tune that can't hear crap. That's because he has a sandwich inside his ear. Pretty normal stuff, isn't it? And what do you find right next to him? A swab. Such a coincidence, coincidence, isn't it? And such an idiot that can't use it himself. You're deaf, and not blind. Anyway, help out the guy and eat the disgusting sandwich. Boom, achievement done. Above and beyond the spider of duty. Collect all eight spiders in the restaurant. And you keep following the Brookback Mountain cowboy. Excuse me, what? Um, nothing. You will end up on the sushi restaurant. There, to pass the Japanese bugger blocking the door, you have to scare him away with spiders. How lucky! There's a jar close by. And there's also eight spiders in the room. You only need five to scare the guy, but to complete his achievement, you need eight of them. Catch them all, like the Pokemons, and complete the achievement. Around the world in 80 puns. Visit all travel destinations in the world. So after the Japanese level, you're sent on vacations by your awesome director. Before getting to the resort, you can explore the world by visiting every corner on Earth. On this sort of screen, like the Indiana Jones movies when he travels from one place to another. There's serial Portugal, there's death, there's the quarantines, Stockholm Syndrome, Shoreway, Orangutan Penal Colony, you name it. You need to visit all of them, all of the map and finish on the resort. Make sure to have all the dots yellow. Travel south, there's pretty well hidden dots in there as well. Boom! Achievement complete. Exhume to consume. Discovered all the artifacts buried in sand. There's a lot of freaking rich teenagers telling you to go to the beach once you reach the resort. It's located after crossing the bridge, where there's cars going underneath it. There you have this sort of metal detecting device. With that, you should be able to find 8 objects buried in the sand. After discovering a mammoth, 
an old console and other neat stuff that you are not expecting to find not on this world not on any other world you will get the achievement you have to discover all of them Asselhoff in a pinch rescue the drowning man in the swimming pool this is one of my favorites a reference to the eternal David Asselhoff acting as Mitch Buchanan on Baywatch one of the best series ever and that doesn't have anything to do with Pamela Anderson's and other beauty statues jumping around television anyway to complete the achievement jump on the pool near the resort and save the guy drowning there his girlfriend will be happy actually, actually she will not the guy is dead but hey she's happy all the same she's now finding a new boyfriend to drown uh, whatever polyplegic land awkwardly while diving at the pool I love that word awkwardly it's probably one of the words I use most of my videos as well still at the pool it's time to hurt polyblank I know you were waiting for this all along. Now, if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of dumb people at the pool jumping all over the place but the water where they should be actually landing. You have to do exactly what they're doing and land off the water. Meaning, getting polyblank polyplegic on a tragic diving on the sides of the pool. Hey, but don't worry about him. The achievement is done. That's what matters. Jack's Voyeur Room Explorer Explore other guest rooms at the resort. I have did this mostly random. I'm not sure exactly how many rooms you need to explore, but I'm pretty sure it should be around 5 to 10. Yes, I'm a completionist, so I've explored nearly all of them. It's self-explanatory, done. Achievement, done. Heroin chick. Apply lipstick very generously to your face. After getting to your room at the resort, you will get a mission that involves getting yourself dressed as a woman. But the most manly woman there is, I assure you. For that, you also have to use lipstick. Find it in the, math in the bathroom, I mean, and I don't need to tell you anything else. Do what you will, just apply lipstick very generously in your face. Try to draw a face, like me. I got a pleasant result. Don't get involved. Kiss three people while wearing lipstick. I know it's not the most honorable thing to do as a secret agent. James Bond wouldn't do this, but hey, that's why we are the most cool agents on earth. That's why this is jazz punk. After applying the lipstick, just try to act as a real woman and start kissing. Uh, people. But don't get involved. But she can fly. Win a round of pillow fight. After the resort and going through a lot of awkward stuff, you will have a mission to infiltrate the bad guy's mansion. There, there's all sort of things you can do. For instance, if you get to a room with a lady and some pillows, uh, nope, there's no chance you're getting sexual contact with her. You will instead make her fly by winning a pillow fight. I honestly don't know if it's possible to lose, but if you do, you're a god dang sissy. DJ Compact Disc Jockey. Scratch two compact discs in the bachelor pad. On the same level, we are on the last level here, there's a part in the house where you can find a nails lady and a TV. There you will also have a dick disc scratcher. First, play some with the disc already on the path. After that, and being terrible at it, well like I was, switch the disc with the one near the lady. It should be on a small table near her. God dang it, she's so freaking unbearable. It should be achievement done then. You just have to play with both discs a little bit. Clean as a whistle. Find and utilize a be that. I don't know about you, but Polyblank feels like cleaning is bottom. So in the bad guy's house, there's a bathroom where a basket taking ball is taking a bath and an agent you can kill with a toothbrush. In there, you will find a target, a shining bidet where you can complete your achievement and clean up police blanks. Bottom. A Kissinger for all seasons. Get kissed by an unhygienic individual on two separate occasions. This was the most frustrating achievement. Not because it was hard to get, but because it means you get kissed by a guy that doesn't know what a toothbrush is. He also loves you. 
The two sad occasions happen in the same house. The first, near the part where you can see the hammer shark tank, or the twister game. When you're about to get some action with a lady nearby, the guy interrupts you and kisses you. The second occasion happens when you're fighting in the final boss. When you're fighting the final boss at the racing part where you drive a lamp over the small lake. There's a fine looking woman there, but, but once again, the pig comes out of nowhere, I don't know how he does that, and kisses you again! Well, at least you got the achievement, man. Bloody Mary on the rocks. Serve a Bloody Mary. You feel like a witch. Better, you feel like a cannibal. On the part you need to congratulate the boss with all the prizes, and where a curious jacuzzi is, you have the option to speed things up. You see the people on the jacuzzi, they are terrible people. They have done bad things to you. Now, do you see the control nearby? Try the liquefy option. Cool, isn't it? No, no, it's it's actually dreadful. Anyway, what's done, it's done, and now you, you have the lady singing on the chair, feeling a little bit thirsty. What better way to kill her thirst than a full cup of liquefied agents mixed with a fine lady? I don't know the answer, but the achievement is done once you give her the cup filled with the liquid on the jacuzzi. Breaking the mold. Consume vast quantities of jelly to fulfill ethical responsibilities. After defeating the boss and when you're on your way to save the director, you come across the secretary. You feel this urge to save her, don't you? I, I hope you do. I'm not even sure if you can complete the level without saving her, but this is jazz punk, so everything's really possible. Anyway, to complete this achievement, you must save her by eating a lot of jelly. The jelly that is keeping her hostage. Thinking about it, everything's good. You save a person and you eat jelly. Come on, unless the jelly tastes too much of secretary, everything's good. That was the last achievement, so you should now have them all completed. Thanks to me. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed the video. I'm the Spare Journey and I'll see you later on. Take care.